The second day of our trip, we woke to sunshine. The rain had stopped, and it was going to be a glorious day in Pennsylvania. We did notice that the dripping noise was still coming from the trees, but didn't think much about it. So we prepared and ate breakfast, and then started packing up. It was while packing up that we finally realized what the dripping noise had been long after the rain stopped. All night, those hundreds upon hundreds of caterpillars above us had been eating, and you guessed it, pooping all over everything. Green poop was on everything. The rig, the tent, the awning, the gazelle. But we packed up the best we could and moved on in the hope that the caterpillar infestation was localized and did not spread throughout the entirety of Bald Eagle State Forest. Our first stop that morning was at the Henstep Valley Jeep Trail. The Henstep Jeep Trail is around five miles long and is rated a level four moderate trail by Onyx Off-Road, primarily for some rocky sections and some mud holes that can get to be two to three feet deep. While driving this trail, we did run into a couple other off-roaders going the opposite way. Due to our trailer, they graciously gave us way to get through, but voiced their concerns that we might not make it through the deep mud holes with that trailer. Thank you so much for your concern, guys. We did make it just fine. The Henstep Valley Jeep Trail proved to be a lovely, scenic, mountain laurel covered narrow trail that was highly enjoyable to drive. Just make sure you're ready for some additional pinstripes. After leaving the Jeep trail behind, we decided it was about time to look for lunch. We headed to the Buffalo Flat area where a campsite awaited that we had considered but rejected for our previous night. It was a perfect place to stop and enjoy lunch. From there, we headed north to Sproul State Forest, which was our destination for the evening stopping briefly at Raymond Winter State Park to enjoy the waterfall. Then we continued north, enjoying more epic views. Rue was not impressed with the views. Is this boring? Is this boring? After a long day in the Jeep, for Rue's sake and for ours, we decided to stop and enjoy a short hike to Rosecrans Falls. The hike to the falls is a very easy, scenic hike of less than a mile round trip. Parking is limited at the trailhead. Make sure when you park, you don't block any roads or driveways. Also make sure that you stay on the trail as the property across the stream is private property. Although the trail to the falls is an easy trail, there is a steep incline at the end if you choose to walk down to see both falls closer. Rosecrans Falls is about 20 feet high and is located on public property owned by the Lock Haven City Authority.
Neighboring McElhatton Falls falls about 20 feet from top to bottom into the same basin. Leaving the falls behind, we came across a unique site and then started our voyage into Sprawl State Forest. At first, it wasn't clear if the forest welcomed our visit. After navigating around the downed tree and the large black snake sunning in the road, the road became much more pleasant and opened back up to fields of ferns and majestic views. After a glimpse of these views, we didn't know what our campsite held in store, but we'll let you judge for yourself. Sprawl State Forest encompasses 300,000 acres of steep ridges around the Susquehanna River. The forest also includes 49 dispersed campsites that can be reservable only in advance online. I have no idea what the other 48 sites in this area looked like, but this campsite was epic indeed. Thanks for joining us on our second day of Pennsylvania Adventure. Join us tomorrow when we set off into Sprawl State Forest and other neighboring forests. Forests filled with ferns, old roadbeds that probably shouldn't have a Jeep on them, massive rivers, and always more epic views. Thanks for joining us, now go find your own adventure.